Hey, Dave County with Head Games Motorworks. Today, we are going to do what you guys have been asking for, head-to-head -head battle between the Ford Voodoo and the K-Series. Check it out. All right, guys, so I was on the Street Alpha podcast, and I got asked a very, very tough question to answer in the moment. What is the best cylinder head of all time in your opinion? Import or domestic, overall. OEM should be your baseline and then you go from there. If we're just going off of baselines, it's a tough call between an Evo 10. The 4B11 is a bad bit. Like that thing will flow on the intake side, it'll flow with like a trick flow 245 LS. The K series is right up there as well. Right out of the box, like they're, they're bib. So the K series and the Evo 10 are the best flowing. Flow wise, I definitely think that those two would be. When I got asked that question, Obviously, I'm in the moment. I'm trying to think about what what could it be. I said 4B11 uh, versus K, and then the comments blew up. And most of the comments were for the Ford Voodoo head. So today, I got a Ford Voodoo head, and we got the K series. Let's look at some differences, and then we're going to check it out on the flow bench. First up, we got the K series. The K series. This is a K24 head, and you can tell the K24 head because it has this big uh whatever this thing is i think it's for egr um k24 is only coming it's an rbc-1 casting now this is just all i had here uh this is one of our heads so i i can throw it on and off the flow bench we can do anything we want with it uh we got stock valves it did receive guides but that is all it has besides that it's stock um we have a you have to excuse me i'm gonna have to look at all my notes every time i do this but it is a 86 millimeter bore, 86 millimeter stroke engine. Let me check out the intake ports. So this is pretty much the holy grail. So we put this against the 4B11, this one against the 4B11, and now we're gonna put it against the Voodoo. It has a uh, 35 millimeter intake valve, 30 millimeter exhaust valve, and it is a 86 millimeter bore. I think I mentioned that but how is it going to compare to the Voodoo? The Voodoo has a 94 millimeter bore and it has a 38.3 millimeter intake valve. To give you a size comparison, I'm gonna get it. So these are the differences in size on the intake valve. And then let's look at the exhaust. Let's look at the exhaust. So the exhaust valve on the Voodoo is a 32 and a half versus a 30 you can see quite a bit of difference, quite a bit of difference there. And not to mention that the Voodoo comes CNC ported from the factory. So just like the Boss 302, these, king, these things come CNC ported right from Ford. Now, obviously this one doesn't have guides. We're about to do some research and development on it. And I got another one on the flow bench, but this is straight from Ford and it comes CNC ported. So if you're gonna go fast in either platform, I think, so the, the K-Series, when we make 1,400 or so horsepower with those, we're not going to port them. We don't port them because they crack. And then, but that is like, I mean, I know the fastest car in the world, I guess, in the Honda is a B, and that would be the guys from Speed Factory. And then all the Ford guys, for whatever reason, they decide to go with this cylinder head, the Voodoo head, and it comes in the GT350. It's a naturally aspirated head and they use this particular cylinder head because it has a thicker deck. And I guess because it's CNC ported, this is the guy that they want to go for whenever they're making big power. Like Brett LaSalle, this is the cylinder head he runs. Now, we are going to actually make this better in a different video, but um, I don't think that horsepower is a good indication or horsepower potential because you can make 1400 with this one too, or you can make 2400, you can make 3000 horsepower with it. Does that make sense that you would, the head would have to flow that much? No, that's not how it works. It doesn't work that the head flow means horsepower. There's a lot of other variables and you can't just go off a of flow. That was something I was, I just want to mention, but let's go on the flow bench and we'll compare them.
Definitely need to wear earplugs for this one. Wasn't expecting that. Wait till you guys see the results of that. This thing is a bad dude. And um, I won't lie, it stomped all over the K-Series. But keep watching until the end. We're gonna do the exhaust now and uh, we'll compare the numbers. All right, so you can see by looking at the chart that the Voodoo just stomped all over that K-Series from the crack of the valve all the way through the range. Now, we did not flow the K-Series over 500 lift and, uh, and the 4B11, we kept that to 500 lift. This, we flowed up to 600, but those numbers, we're not gonna pay attention to them because really the, I mean, it just outflowed everywhere. 40 numbers down low, 20 numbers up high. Now, I was not expecting it to be that drastic, but um, we're comparing a not ported head to a ported head. Could a K-Series ported and big enough, and you can run the same size valve, I think some people do, uh, would it compare that way? Maybe, but that wasn't the question, and that's not what we're gonna answer today. It was a massacre. It was an absolute massacre seeing these two together and i guess all the fans were right this thing i was mistaken not the top dog voodoo for number one or is it really so we're gonna throw another couple in here we're gonna go into the nissan crowd and um just uh maybe you guys can comment below tell me what you're gonna see what do you want to see against the voodoo i'm thinking vq35 because I, well, maybe we'll do VQ35 versus VR38. I don't know. You guys tell me. What do you want to see versus, there has to be something that we have. I can say yes or no on the comments and uh, we'll see what we can make happen. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. Make sure you get that notification button so you can keep watching these things. Toodles.